going to do with her? Send her back to the nut house, I guess. Well, I had to chuckle when she said, uh, is there a private place here which I can deal with my toilet? And it's uh, in private, if you please. Well, what about me? I suppose you see me as the 
Butler or Canon Chasuble? Well, I suppose in the absence of anyone more suitable, you'll have to play Chasuble. Oh, thank you very much. Now, uh, can we get on with it? <laughs> I don't see why not. Uh, please, <coughs> everyone, please. Seaside Resort. 
And where did this charitable gentleman, who happened to have a first-class ticket in his pocket, find you? In a handbag. <laughs> <laughs> a handbag? <laughs> yes, Lady Brackland. I was in a handbag. A somewhat large black leather handbag with handles to it. In what location did this Mr. Cardew find this handbag? <laughs> in the back room of Victoria Station. It was giving him a mistake for his own. The cloak room of Victoria Station. Yes, the bride of mine. <laughs> the thine is immaterial. <laughs> Mr. Worthing, I must confess I feel quite bewildered by what you have just told me. To be born, or at any rate, bred, in a handbag, whether it has handles or not, seems to me to convey contempt for the ordinary decencies of family life. May I ask what you would advise me to do? Do? I should strongly advise you, Mr. Worthing, to try and find some relatives as quickly as possible. <laughs> well, I don't see how I could possibly manage to do that. I can produce the handbag. I really think that should satisfy you, Lady Brackman. Me, sir? What has it to do with me? You can hardly imagine that I, or Lord Bracknell, would allow our daughter, a girl brought up with the utmost care, to marry into the cloakroom and form an alliance with a parcel. Good morning, Mr. Worthing. <laughs> Oh, Victor, what are you doing here? Oh, he was 
still in bed. Oh, Lou. Getting better, thank oh, you. Good. I hear it went well without me. Yes. Uh, went fine. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody was uh, rather good, actually. Oh, who? Rebecca, uh, come and have a lovely glass of bubbly. Thank you. Well? Absolutely. You're not suggesting that 
I really don't know what I'm suggesting, to be honest, but it is what it is. Did he have someone with him? <laughs> no, Dr. Watson wasn't there. Strange. We put on the props of being a uh, Mr. Longcomb's Lady Brackman. Now we're doing the hand of the Baskervilles and, well, a long time Sherlock Holmes himself. Oh, come on. Have you all gone mad? Sherlock Holmes and Lady Bracknell don't exist except in the minds of their authors. How do you think someone who does not exist can come to life to take part in a performance? Explain that to me. How? Come on, how? Um, do you think it could be? Oh, grief. You've got crackers. Do you really think I'm going to open that door and it will walk Sherlock Holmes? Well, do you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, do come in, Mr. Holmes. <laughs> See, nobody there. Nobody. Nothing. <laughs>